Let's go 2021. Yay. <laughs> Welcome to My String of Pearls. We are on episode 12. Is it 12? It's 12. I didn't even I check wrote it down. I started. <laughs> yeah. um, and this isn't even going to be a regular episode. This is just going to be a, mm. what do we call it? Knit Stack 2020 Roundup. Yes. So what we plan on doing today is showing everything that we can that's present with us that we have knit in 2020. 20, yes, and uh, we have a, a fair big stack. Yes. And uh, well, I just want to say sorry we've been taking so long to come back to see you. It's been a crazy, been crazy. December. Yeah. And I've uh, been thinking about you, mm -hmm. been keeping track of some of you mm -hmm. online and um, Instagram just, yeah. and loved Vlogmas for all people that did it. Yes. Like I think yes. like Sandy by the Lakeside, mm -hmm. who else did I follow? Girl Meets Lot Yarn. Uh, there's too many to count. Yes. I tried Vlogmas. It's and even uh, Ina and Carlos, have been I've been watching them yeah. too, sitting it for a bit. And yeah, I have yeah. sitting it for a bit. Yeah. but it's, lots of knitting. Yeah, knitting, cooking, outdoors things, yeah. and just, yeah. just keeping really busy. Really enjoyed days off from work. I had a good solid two weeks pretty much off from work. Mm -hmm. That was wonderful. And I just checked out like not very much social media, not very much other, I mean, no outside of anything because mm -hmm. we can't with COVID lockdown and everything like that. But uh, thankful for those who are yes, in our bubble. Yes, yes, we are in the same <laughs> bubble. Thank goodness. Yes. <laughs> um, Mom and Dad just live right down the road. They've been in our bubble the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, they take care of our dog for us back and forth and stuff. So we've just kept yeah, them in our bubble. Keep... And then if I was working too much or anything like that, then we just kind of kept our distance and mm -hmm. kept everybody safer. Mm -hmm. But... And I have an elderly, I have elderly parents and yeah. I sort of plan it so that I am not seeing anybody for a few weeks and yeah. then I go and see them and then I go and see, yeah, and you're but not, not even really like, see no, people, you're just, but yeah, you're outside even and... having any kind of contact with them whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So just mm -hmm. want to keep them healthy. Hi mom, hi Clem. Yes. And hi Auntie Irene. Oh, uh -huh. hi Auntie. Yes. Yeah. And Auntie Mary. <laughs> we got My a, a following. <laughs> um, so yeah, we just wanted to make sure that everyone knows how much we care about you, how much this podcast community and the YouTube and everything has meant to us over the last a lot. year. Yes. Um, it's really gotten me through some difficult times through lockdown and knitting, of course, is just my saving grace for that just quiet moments of me time. Mm -hmm. And yes. uh, yeah, just really really thrilled to see our community growing um and connecting with so many different people all over the place so thank you again yes um and this is a quick little thank you for all the love for my my brief vlogmas videos <laughs> it was a trial run i don't think i can ever do it daily unless i'm actually home all the time but it was really fun to put just some different content mm -hmm. out there other it's than such knitting. a big commitment it is the editing and just i'm so busy throughout the day going about my things that it's really hard to think about oh right camera in my face camera tripod whatever right and kudos to you who do those <laughs> yes. things like wow like, that's amazing a lot. and uh i think one thing sandy had said was just she does it for the memories and it's really fun to look back on it but one thing i noticed is i wasn't totally present in those days 
as much as I'd wanted to because I was focused on filming or or creating content with it as much. So that's why I didn't see anything else past, I can't remember, it was like the middle of December. <laughs> that, <I> that was <laughs> it. That was all. And yeah. uh, just enjoyed time with my husband and family. So mm -hmm. yeah, thanks again for all the love for that. Yes, thank you so much. Um, should we do a quick little intro? Because if you are coming to us new, you don't know who we are. Yeah. And then we'll get into our stack of... Yes. Okay. And where you can find us yes. on on the internet, etc., okay. etc. Et so... My name is Linda. <laughs> and I'm Mioka. <laughs> Mioka is my daughter. And Linda is my mom. Hey. <laughs> uh, we are My String of Pearls. You can find us on Ravelry. Um, my personal account is My String of Pearls. And then we have a Ravelry group as well that is My String of Pearls. Um, are you on Ravelry? Yes. Yeah. Are I'm you on Ravelry? on Ravelry? I'm on there, but I'm not very active. <laughs> and my, um, my, I am? L. Pearl. L. Pearl. <laughs> This is always a little... A -R -L. Yeah, yeah, I'll put it all below here yes. for you. Um, I am on Instagram as my dot string of pearls. It's kind of our joint account. I'm mostly the moderator behind mm -hmm. that one. This techie girl. Yep. Yeah. She's got it. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're I'm on old Instagram. school. <laughs> no. You're coming along for good. Oh, I'm not doing too yeah. bad. I it's saw a... your story the other day. <laughs> <laughs> it was fluke. Yeah. <laughs> totally fluke. Yeah. Um, and you're on Instagram as? Linda Pearl Pearls. Yeah. And so we'll put that up there as well yes. for you. So please follow us, find us, connect with us, tag, share. It's so much fun to see all the interaction between our podcasts. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So and thank you for joining us yes, today. Thank it's you. so good to see you. We are coming yeah. from the sunny Okanagan. Yay, sunshine. It is actually sunny. <laughs> um, Briefly. We had like yeah. minus eight the other night and yeah. we still have snow on the ground. But when we get this beautiful, bright, sunny days, what does it say out there now? Oh, it's three degrees in the sunshine. So In the sunshine, mm -hmm. but it's cold all around. Yeah. 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 So I'm planning a snowshoe later today. Okay. So excited about that. Yeah. Okay. You taking my dog? Uh, no, oh. you can't come where we're going. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <I'll bring> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, like we had said before, today we's not going to be a traditional podcast. We're not going to really show you anything we're working on or anything that's happening in, on our needles, but off our needles. Off our needles, yes, yeah. that have um, jumped off a while yeah. ago and uh, not too long ago. Yeah. So it might be a repeat for you if you've watched the podcast, you will have seen the different... Um, not all of the projects, but most of the projects have been shown on our podcast already. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be probably a faster pace just because we're not going to lag on the project specifically, but just show you, talk a little bit about it, yarn, um, pattern designer, and then we'll the yarn. Then, yeah. We don't know. We'll, we'll go quite quickly. Um, if you have any questions, please Yep. Um, ask in the comments yep. and we will I'm address going, those. going to do my best to do a actual... Um, show notes on this one because <laughs> because it will be a little bit easier just I, we have everything written down mm -hmm. and I don't know if I can do that in Ravelry or here or tag everything I'll figure it out after the fact um and then of course I will put everything at the bottom of the screen here and make sure it stays on there for a little bit so you can pause the video and look it up on Ravelry as well that's a good plan yeah mm -hmm. um most yeah. of if not all of my projects are on my Ravelry page so all the details can be found there we will work on somebody else me <laughs> but she is very good at responding to any questions that you have yes. or send them through me and I can make sure I get back to you as well mm -hmm. yeah that's okay. great so are we doing chronological order of like what we did last January? Are we just I am uh, like what we did recently and then going backwards? Um, I have um, when I started way back okay. in the new last okay. year. So okay, I will just go that route. You go whichever what. I know. I think that's you. great because yeah. that's kind of what I've written down here. And um, okay, we'll just flip uh, back one and thing forth. to note too is I cannot show anything that I've gifted. I'm sure nor you have, can I. Yeah. We'll um, summarize those at the end. Yeah. And <laughs> Almost like a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> exactly. Um, <clears throat> maybe we have photos of it. I might insert a couple photos at the beginning or end or something like that. But things have been gifted. I've showed what I can. But this is just hard. And editing. I must say, I'm really surprised after I went through all my things and my list and how much knitting I did this yeah. past year. Yeah. And I'm... Proud of that fact. That's and, what inspired yeah. me to do this segment with you is I was going through um, updating my Ravelry of the photos of stuff I just finished in December. And I was going through and on Ravelry, you can go to a, your projects and finished items or whatever. And you can see, um, I think you filter it under the year completed. 
Oh. And I hit 2020. And I was like, oh, wow. And then I started like pulling a couple things out. And then you saw our pretty little stacks and it just got more and more and prettier and prettier. And I thought this is really fun. I'd love to see everyone else stacks. I wanted to see moms. I know Amanda from Sweet Skein of mine is um, BRB. She said, I think like, BRB. I gotta go, be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go compile things or something. So Show us your stack. We'd love to see okay, it. Okay, yeah. yeah, show us your stack. <laughs> so I guess I'll start because I know for sure that I finished this January 1st, 2020. Oh. It was off my needles that day. So this is the very beautiful Kyler by Isabel Kramer. Mm -hmm. So this... Look at that. Smells like my perfume. Smells like you. <laughs> Smells this, like a hug. <laughs> a Mioka hug. <laughs> this shawl got me through a pretty difficult time, um... Last December, I had some health stuff going on. Everything is fine, but it just was a tough time and uh, not knowing what was going on. And so this just was like comfort and therapeutic knitting. And it still is. And every time I wear it, it is so special. So again, this is the Kyler Shawl by Isabel Kramer. And it is knit in the Sweet Skein of Mine mulled wine colorway, which was gifted to me from Amanda yes. for our wedding last year, actually. Lovely. No, last year. Year before. Year before. Yep. Yeah. So, so we're moving on fast. <laughs> um, really fun way to wear this. If anyone has those great big triangle shawls, I just tuck it around and then... Excuse me. Is that breakfast? <laughs> that was my tongue. Tie thing. it up like that, put it to the side, or if I want to have a little bit more of like a bulky statement... Oh, I'll have right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's one way it I works. wear my great big triangle shawl. Mm -hmm. um, love it, absolutely love it. So happy with it. Great. Okay. January first, twenty twenty. <laughs> yes, and I believe I finished this in January. I can't remember dates it's very See, well, but this is by anyways, Russell. I had been um, looking at this for some time, and I don't even know which is the front and back because it looks so good. This is my ranunculus. I've been wanting to make one of these for a long time. I bought some mohair to go with, um, oh, pardon me, Ranunculus's pattern is by Midori House. The yarn is Barocco Vintage DK called Snowy Day, mm -hmm. and I held it with Kid Mohair Blend from by Ella Ray, and it's called Snowman, and it's really, really soft and I warm. Love and I'm this thinking I have not worn this for a while. I got to put it back on it and wear it. It looks so good. And it's yeah. so soft. I made it shorty. It's loose. Do you find that, because um, I know with some people, they find that there's a little bit too much, um, like, what not. do you wear, a cardigan or something underneath it, or not a card, no. uh, camisole? No, I don't, because okay. I have an um, undergarment bra that's like same a skin tone mm -hmm. as my skin, mm -hmm. and so it doesn't bother me, and you really, where it lands on me, this is the part that I would really be concerned about, and yeah. this part is right. not too yeah. bad. So right for me, it's okay. Yeah. I and with the mohair, it sort of fills in the knitting, the the in between the stitches, yeah. or so. Yeah. So yeah, I, was I love really this one. Pleased one with of that. my favorites that you've knit. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank yeah, you. It is. It really is. So what you got next? Uh, next up is my Weekender by Andrea Mallory, oh, yes. and this one was knit in Barocco Vintage Charcoal. Uh, you're going to notice my colorways are not very bad. <laughs> so we'll have to see if we can change that for her in the new no. year. This I've year. tried, and I, honestly, they sit in the project bag, and they don't get done very fast, or they get frogged or gifted. or Anyway, Weekender by Andrew Mary. So this one, now, after the fact, it is huge. It is huge. It is boxy. I would have gone down probably two sizes. However, I generally wear this one over top of something else while we're camping. In fact, I think it has smell, a bit of a smell. campfire smell to it. Um, <laughs> Isn't that lovely how things yeah. smell like they're supposed yeah. to for different places? So Barocco Vintage Charcoal, I think it was one of the most, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Cost effective yeah, knits it for a sweater. I, it's worn really well. I have washed it in the washing machine. I've thrown it in the dryer. Like I said, we go camping with it. Mm -hmm. Love it. Is this one that you can wear um, inside out? Um, this is not? the one that you decide when you're knitting it if you were going to have the um, wrong side stocking it or the um, pearl bump side. Pearl mm -hmm. bump? Yeah, it's not garter. Um, because you do this detail all across the top and the sleeve. So again, 
I really like how I it really does love this. it it's the this. detail yeah I didn't mm -hmm. want to lose that detail down the center because when you have it the other way you just and vintage DK is that 100% wool I can't recall I don't think so because no, I think there's some acrylic in it because like I said I've thrown it in the dryer yeah so yeah. it wouldn't be 100% uh, it wool. was supposed to be one that like yeah I throw it on when we go for he's outside a W a walk in the morning <laughs> To be careful, or else he gets it. excited. Um, I think wear it when we go for a walk in the morning, and we wear it camping. I, like I said, I layer it on top of so many different things. It's such a great knit. I would like to knit it again, not it's anytime one I want to soon. Knit sometime. Um, but in a smaller, like more uh, negative ease size, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. because it is such a, a flattering boxy knit in a smaller size as well. Yes. So, yeah. And this is not a, not a toothy yarn at all. It's, no. It's soft to your yeah, skin, it's so beautiful. it would be it's beautiful. just right for... So, yeah, that was another one I finished. I think it was January or February of last year as well, before lockdown. Okay. Okay. What all do you right. got? So I have um, done a colorwork cowl. You probably have seen this. This is very toothy, so I don't wear it very much. It's it, But I should probably um, give it a rinse with some really soft... Uh, soak or something that has lanolin in it so that it is less soft but this is from the custom wool pardon me custom woolen mills in Carstairs Alberta it was a dye club that I entered or I became a part of in 2019 and I dyed the yarn over the summer and then I took the um, different colors and made the cowl that and they had suggested used mohair or sorry no. marigolds and no, there was a few different things yeah. you'll have to go back I think this one's on your Ravelry. I believe it is Maybe. yeah and yeah. Um, it was fun to knit and I wanted to do a smaller project for two reasons one um, to do the dyeing and the other one is to do the color work and I accomplished both of those so I want to uh, do more color work in the future so we'll see what where that goes but um, can you put it I on? enjoyed that can I put it on? you can put it on okay yeah. I just don't think I've ever seen you wear it because it's too Because uh, it's, yeah, and this goes on the bottom. Okay. Because it's bigger? Because it's toothy. You mm. will. <coughs> my hair is going to get even <laughs> remotely better, guys. Lovely. But I've it, never worn my hair naturally curly really nice on the podcast you. because it's gray and brown. <laughs> <laughs> I've never worn my hair naturally curly on the podcast before because it's just unruly, but this is day two of like fun bunning it. So you're fun welcome. Fun bun. <laughs> this is lovely. It is toothy though. Yeah. Um, I'll have to see if I can maybe even use some conditioner, hair conditioner to soften it up mm -hmm. might help. Mm -hmm. And maybe just using it and wearing it and um, laundering it. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. It actually would be good for really cold snowshoe days where the wind is blowing. But don't you find that anything toothy when you are exercising, when it gets damp, it's almost like if you're any kind of persp perspiration or sweaty, it just, I don't like that feeling on my skin. No. It almost makes it worse. <clears throat> and I also don't enjoy yeah. bad knitter. I hate the smell of wet wool. Oh, do you? Yes, don't like it. There. So if anything gets it depends warm. Depends on the wool. Depends on the wool. Like I guess. Really I don't know. You know that smell, smell, though? It's just, I don't know. It's not my not my cup of tea. So I like uh, scented wool wash for sure. Oh, yes. But that's beautiful. Yeah, it turned out really good. I was pleased with it, but I have to do some... Like I said, maneuvering of uh, making it less, yeah, less um, toothy. Speaking so to speak. of toothy, yeah. <laughs> Did you get some teeth in yet? Some teeth in me. All right, what do we got next? <clears throat> what have you got yet? Next. Okay, and you go for it again. <laughs> Great. This is actually called soot. Soot. Oh, of charcoal. <laughs> Perfect for this kind of um, season <laughs> when if you have a fire yeah. in your home. Not a fire I in your home. I had it but going, but I let it die down because it makes yeah. so much popping and crackling sounds. It's like, it's sounds almost like gunshots if you would listen oh. to some of my podcasts <laughs> back in the background. But anyway, this, this is the Ranger cardigan that I knit for my husband during lockdown. Um, and it is, uh, yeah, Ranger by Jared Flood, knit in Brooklyn Tweed Shelter in the colorway Soot. And he loves it. He loves it. He oh, doesn't he's... wear it too often because he's scared to wreck it. I've told him no campfires. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing, though, is it did definitely grow a lot more in length than I expected. I wanted. He wanted it longer. Um, he has also hung it. And... Very good example. Oh, yes. This is not Look a hand knit, but do not hang your knits. Oops. This, this is just a, this is a bootlegger, whatever. But um, 
<laughs> I've done that before too. Don't hang your nets, please. Don't hang your nets. So, Unless you hang them over, fold them and hang them over the, the rung. Yeah. And because he wanted it a little bit longer, when I blocked it, I did pull it down a little bit more and I wish I hadn't done that. So I think I'm going to mm -hmm. give this a good kind of soak in a little bit warmer mm -hmm. of water and then re-block it and just not let it. He likes it, but I just think it looks I wouldn't do any long. warmer. Just soak it. Just soak give it. it a like... Uh, at least 20 minutes, yeah. soak it, and then re-block it, but make it a little bit wider. Like, measure the measurement that you want, yeah. and then block it that way. It, might, it will go up a little bit, but it'll yeah. it'll be wider for him, yeah. and I think he'll he'll enjoy that. Um, I'm not too sure if we're going to insert too many photos, but I will put a photo of him wearing it, because I think he is, he's so I'm proud. biased, but I'm very, very proud of my handsome husband, and his yes. handsome cardigan by Jared Flip. And he's very happy. He's and very proud happy. of you that you made it for And these him. buttons came from Mum's button stash. They're actually kind of like a metal. They're really appropriate. Yeah. yeah I it. just, I love this one. I, you like put I said, it on? Yes, way too big on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was knit. I started it during lockdown. I actually think it was prior to lockdown. I think it was like February after I finished Ouch My Weekender. And I said to him, it'll be ready for you by Thanksgiving because we always go camping for Thanksgiving. And then we went into full lockdown. Mm -hmm. I was off work and he had it done by April. Mm -hmm. And those fingers, those hands, they were, hands uh, were so busy. Busy, busy. 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 Yeah. And that's a good way to put your emotion into your knitting, whether it's a gift or if it's just for your Knit own worthy. personal mm -hmm. personal um, meditation um, what am I, the words I'm looking for your personal um, self this was a self Netflix care. and yeah. chill and like mm -hmm. that's just past the time of there was still snow on the ground I couldn't get outside in the garden and it was it a just really needed to keep knit. busy mm -hmm. yeah that says yeah. my next knit too yeah yeah and Okay, what's your next one, Mom? Well, as you said, COVID knitting. Mm -hmm. I oh, started I this, this um, yarn. Um, I got this is Color Adventure mm -hmm. yarn from My Twist of Yarn. They make their own. They dye their a own yarn. A twist of yarn. A twist of our yarn. Our local yarn shop, Hi Camilla and yes. Katie and all the other beautiful girls there. <laughs> yes, and I had bought one of these skeins. I believe it. I don't think it was gifted one, and I bought another one at a different time, and so I bought. The white, and I am made um, the suburban wrap by Hohi Locatelli, and I love this. It this is, is the suburban huge, wrap. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It is yeah. a huge, big, long, 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 long. This I one learned... reminds me of our podcast in your backyard with Dad yelling at us about fritters. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put and the episode number in the bottom. Several di different ways. Like this, sometimes I tuck it in. Well, sometimes that color is so good for you. You should have like a, have a full sweater in that, hey? Oh, well, maybe eventually. And sometimes I have um, a stick. I call it a stick, and I stick mm -hmm. it in there to hold it in. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I just wrap it around my as a shawl shawl instead of a, mm -hmm. a neck shawl. I was thinking like shawl cuff, something like that. Even with my Kyler, it would be nice to have like a shawl cuff or something. Yeah, we'll have to see if we can I know that of yarn has some. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's like this that goes around this way it's so big you can wear it so many ways and some whoops this side and it's got this little thing on the side the 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 try the arrow yeah. and so it's got extra little bits yeah. and pieces and it's just it's not too thick it's not too thin it's just right what i love cozy. about that one too is because there's so many different details of the lace work the eyelets the striping you can alternate it how you're wearing it depending on your outfit or how you want it. Like if you want it to be a little bit lacy have that in the part in the front if you want to really display the shawl because you have something like a simple black dress on or kind of what you're wearing today just simple. just have yeah. like it draped over and really show off the shawl it's beautiful and um, it was interesting, too, because, of course, the change-up of, mm -hmm. like, the stripes, the lace, you know, all the way It almost through. reminds me of, like, those... Um, Little holes? What are they called? Like, a surprise make-along or whatever. Where you get a clue every oh, couple yeah. of a weeks. Mystery. A mystery. Uh, yeah. 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 And Cal, mystery knit-along? I don't know. I've never done mystery one. Mystery along. Because I'm too, like, <laughs> ooh, what if I don't like it at the end? But it kind of reminds me of something <laughs> like that where you wouldn't know. This one wasn't, but... No. Yeah. It's, it's a really nice... Um, pattern and uh oh, he's does a good job yeah. on her knitting patterns yeah. for sure awesome okay what you got next girl? next up i finished yes i should have actually blocked this because i've washed it 
Um, and I did hang this one because it was too short for me originally, so I did want that length. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, no, I've actually seen people put um, some of their garments or whatever you have like on a. Or something weighting it down. Well, it's on a uh, pant hanger, so it just sort of claps the top, holds it together, and put um, something on the bottom like. Uh, yeah. Earrings or I've something. I've seen Don't like hold coat hangers with like some and kind it, of a uh, not coat hanger, weight. clothes pins with like a weight or something mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. um, but this one because I had the straps, it was really easy to hang. Mm -hmm. So this is the Mirage. Uh, it's a Shibui Knits pattern by Shelly Anderson, and I've knit this in the Color Adventures Merino Light in the Raven colorway, and then Drops Kid Silk in black for the bottom. So like I said, I should have um, steam blocked this because this lays really really nice and flat, but. It's a tank. It's really nice. I've only worn it a couple of times because, like I said, I didn't feel like it was long enough. But this last time I hung it and really pulled it down. So it's got this it's very detailed, really very, fine, very fine. Um, mohair oh, yeah. on the bottom with that little bit of a, what do you call that, Mom? Split hem? Um, a vent. A vent. I have a vent. A vent. Um, on the side <laughs> and... Are you really starting to see what colors I like? Uh-huh. It's uh, coming clear to me now. Sorry. <laughs> it's smoky. Sorry. But um, love this. It's really nice. It's very soft. It yeah. looks nice on you, too. I wanted yeah. to work a couple times, too. I try not to wear anything, like, too strappy. But, uh, and I did a different, it's on my Ravelry page, but I did a different bind off on the collar and the um, the neckline and the armhole. The neckline holes. and the armhole, thank you. Mm -hmm. My seamstress. <laughs> I did the eye cord bind off. Yeah. <clears throat> and I just, yeah, really, really like this one. You can kind of see a little bit of color pulling because I just wasn't altering my skeins at all. And yeah. it's just like a cross we in the learned, back there. Hey? We learned those things. But I think it's okay. Like it's, yeah. And this yarn is just beautiful. It's so soft. The merino light. Oh, I think that's what one Almost has its own little bit of a halo to it without... Because this isn't stranded with the mohair, just the mohair is on the very bottom. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's very nice. That's a good. That's a lot of knitting too. I see you in something like this, not yeah. charcoal, but maybe that blue color. Maybe that blue color. Oh, I got plans for the like twenty twenty one. I've already been writing out a <laughs> list, and I've got yarn. And don't look at any new <laughs> yarn. Yeah, <laughs> look in your stash, Linda. <clears throat> okay, so my next one, and I really enjoyed this knit. This is the Rocket Tea by Tannis Fiber Arts. She's got awesome patterns. Oh my goodness. This was so fun and I did it. When did I start it? It Tannis was... Fiber Arts. So I'm going to cut you off. Tannis Fiber Arts. Um, you're going to find her on Ravelry's Tannis Lavalie. Lavalie, yes. Mm -hmm. And I did some um, changes. Like she has on the... Um, raglan. The raglan sleeve she has. It, it's more open. I wanted it closed because this is a, a spring and fall garment. It's so soft. I did the um, my cord. cord bind mm -hmm. off here and on the sleeves and it fits so good and it was so bright and it's just what I needed this. I don't think you said spring. what yarn this is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, but it's by Amanda. Sweet, sweet stain sweet, of mine. Sweet, sweet Amanda. And it is called Sweet Child of Mine. <laughs> <laughs> so I really enjoyed this knit. It, there is color pooling. I did the helical knitting which is changing your your um skeins like so dropping that, and going and dropping yeah, yeah. So, i still haven't done that but i've looked at a couple different uh, it really makes a difference mm -hmm. you can see like every other where is it here you can see kind of every other row has got a sort of a if if i didn't do that it would have been color pooling yeah so i was i'm very pleased it with looks this a, just so good. really pleased yeah. with this yeah. yeah and the yarn Amanda, you do really good amazing you yarn. found amazing. really good yarn to play did with. you see her bridgerton <laughs> series I did. I just finished watching that series too on yeah, Netflix. Yeah, if you need a good Netflix binge and chill knit series, and Bridgerton. Mom clothing. and I started watching it together one day, and then I'm glad you went home when you did because it got pretty racy. <laughs> <laughs> Matt comes in. He goes, "You were watching this with your mom." I said, "Not this part." Like, <laughs> I know I couldn't have had. I was too hot and steamy. <laughs> Watch Bridgerton. It was good. We by spent, yourself. <laughs> we spent a whole day. Well, five hours together. Knitting we just and the fire and chilling, was going. Oh, well, was, that was so much fun. We really needed that. Like, yeah. Just. We had like lentil great. vegetable soup for our lunch, and the guys went fishing, and yeah, yeah it was yeah, really it was good. a great day. It was just what. Yeah, perfect. 
Okay, sorry. So, what Side else bar. you got next, Carol? Woo! Ooh, what's this? So, this is the baby series. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Garter Stitch Baby Kimono by Hohi Locatelli. Um, oh, okay, I'm just holding this because I haven't put buttons on it yet. Hold that so, this you is a really special. We were just commenting on how um, hair and fur gets everywhere, so... Mom's flicking all our hair off on my <laughs> floor. I'm like, whatever, it goes with the black cat hair and the copper dog hair and my yes. hair and Matt's hair. And, and I it just like is. Twice a it's week. part of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, this is the Garter Stitch Baby Kimono. This is a very, very special little knit for me because I, this is the second one that I've knit. The first one went to my little niece. Mm -hmm. um, but I started yes, this yes. knit on our honeymoon. Mm. Um, it is knit in Color Adventures. Again, Sweet Erin yes. this time. And this is Raven. It was just a little bit that I had left over. And then this is the Colorway Fog. This is one of Pohi Locatelli's first patterns that she published. If you find this on Ravelry, it is... I'm sorry, Hokey, horrible. She needs to rewrite the pattern. It is so hard to figure out. It says, put a buttonhole in. Where? How? I like all these different things. And I think it's like a one page PDF, whatever. So I put a, a few notes in my, um, of how I did it. There's tons of project pages to go and figure it out as well. Um, I've just figured out how I like to make it work. Maybe she came into this pattern as for someone who actually has done a bit of knitting so they have that knowledge in their history well yeah it's just i think it's definitely one of her first patterns that she's ever written um and it was just so hard to follow the first one i took it out so many times and tried to redo it and asked so many different people for help and whatever but anyway Love it. I will knit it again now that I know what I'm doing. Um, I really like this contrast. Actually, the, I when I joined the yarn, of course, it's garter stitch, so you got that little bit of a stripe. And um, I finished it. So I started it on our honeymoon on Vancouver Island in Tofino in 2019. And I finished it on Vancouver Island in, um, where were we? It's like Cayucid. It's way yeah, you could, yeah, um, up with my dad and my, my nephew. Northern and, Vancouver Island. As I finished it on the there. island, and I actually, when I had it, my nephew and husband, they said they really liked the stripe side of it anyway. So I might make it eventually so that it's striped or reversible or whatever. Um, but this is just a really special little knit that has gotten in a sweet little box for our future child Chuck. when we have one. Because... Mm -hmm. That's going to happen one day. <laughs> Not yet, but it's going to happen. So yeah, just a really special little knit. I really, I encourage you to knit it, even though the pattern writing is very difficult to understand. Oops. Yeah, and I just things. need to find the buttons, but I think once I figure out who it's for, then, you can then the it. buttons will go on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yay, yay. Okay. Okay, so I um, started this one. I needed a fast knit. And so this is called the Kinnikin Cardin Card. Cardigan, can't talk, no. um, by Goodnight Day, and it's Tara Lynn Morrison. And it is a bulky, bulky sweater. I'll just put it on. Yeah. Back. It's a bulky, bulky sweater. Excuse me, I have to move back. And it went quite quickly when I had giant needles. And it's got this, whoops, where am I? It's got these sleeves. <laughs> Um, balloon sleeves. Um, there's a, there's a name yeah. for them. Like I uh, Jackie remember. from Caddy Jacks always yeah. does them. And yeah, it, and I did change it a bit. I I decreased really quickly here so mm -hmm. that I could have these. And it's very nice. Um, this was stash yarn from here to here, and then I purchased yarn. Mm -hmm. This is um, what is it called? Drops Eskimo held with Noro Silk Garden, yeah. and so <coughs> I think I swallowed a mohair. mohair. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I hope so. And it's this <clears throat> really nice. I use a lot. And so it's really comfortable. I put it on in the morning when I get up and just it's just really cozy. Sometimes I use my stick to hold it together. Because <laughs> you didn't put any buttons or buttonholes or No, like that, did I didn't you? really no. want to. I keep thinking maybe I should, but I think it would lose. You know what would be kind of cool is one of those, um, like you can like put the me. removable strap clasp kind of things. That would yeah. be cute on there. And then, then there's the loopy things that are called the frogs, but that would hold yeah. it open a bit I different. Make it, yeah. It, but I always, it, it's, I have a tough time deciding where to close it. Like here, 
here, here, or mm-hmm. several Just places. On how you rank so I haven't really yeah. done anything except for put my stick in there. Yeah. I have to get my stick and show you my yeah, I'll stick. Grab it. <laughs> Matt calls it your uh, hippie cardigan, doesn't he? My hippie cardigan? Oh, could, could be. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cozy warm without being too hot. So this is my stick where we get there. And I just put it in wherever and uh, keeps it closed. And it's, um, you need a really loosely knit garment, like a really open garment to use a stick because you really don't want to poke holes in if it was a really finely knit yeah. garment. So, and I have a lot of, um, well, it's part of the yarn. There's a lot of um, pilling in here already because it's a well used garment. So. It looks, yes, I like I it. I like it. It's, and I remember I when we were originally, I think you were here or you had taken it back and you had like kind of an orangey and like we were trying yeah, to transition it. it just didn't I'm really happy with how it turned out for and you. I sort of put the blue in and transitioned it. What do you call that when you were Bath- bathing it together? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm pleased with that. Yeah. Awesome. And wearing black, you'll see all the feathers. I don't think you can on here. <laughs> no good. No. I think our uh, <laughs> video quality is not that good, so we're fine. Okay. Good, good. Um, so what then else you got there? I I definitely have knit a bunch of little baby socks and stuff like that, and they've been gifted away. So you've probably seen those kind of on Instagram. I think I might have showed a couple pairs on here as well. Um, but I kind of went through like a baby stage of like baby stuff is just so fun and fast. And I had knit a couple of sweaters and big shawls, and I just. <sighs> <laughs> that sweater will do it. I should actually put it in the dryer with a, a wet towel yeah. on, on I can't fluff, know if you can see fluff. the fluff. Again, <laughs> video quality. Um, so yeah, I just went through a stage of like, oh man, baby stuff is just so fun and fast and cute. And um, yeah, we're trying to make a baby and we're just like that, putting all those different things away is fun. So then, uh, oh my gosh, oh, this is I've just shown this before. Cutest. I started knitting it when I found out my sister-in-law was expecting and it was going to be for them. But both Matt and I, my husband, we fell in love with it. And it's just one of those things like, nope, that's Stays. going in the hope chest. Yep. And so this is the, okay, we'll find out where I am, Teddy Bear Sweater by Patini petite knit um and it is knit in biche and bouche le petite silk and mohair in like a gray um and then a fil fil culana anna oatmeal which was actually gifted to me as part of a fiber share from denmark oh look lovely. at the fuzz on that baby oh, oh it's so sweet i could just squish and love that little one i know okay <laughs> just i can't wait for a little baby in here mm-hmm. um so the teddy bear sweater is actually designed to have a uh, teddy bear base on it. Yes. But I just, I didn't. I fell in love with it the way it is. And, and that's in a duplicate stitch, isn't it? There, I didn't even, bear? I didn't oh. even look because once we got here, it was just absolutely perfect. So this was so fast and so easy. I have enough to make this again. I did the three to six or six to nine, I think. What does that look like? Six to nine months? Six to nine. nine and I 12. did it a little bit cropped because I just think little baby belly sticking out just the cutest thing. So... Well, with a onesie or something. The onesie, there. yeah, and, yeah. Um, you need access to the bottom end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So this was just, oh, I love it it's so, so much. It's absolutely just. It is just the softest. Special, oh, absolutely yeah. special. So so nice. Apparently, Good. even our future children are gonna be dressed in gray. <laughs> um, not if I have my way, but oh. I'll be making some uh, bright things <laughs> as, as well as the other brown. Yeah. <laughs> So this knit has taken me a long time, oh, and I've actually this, this is new. It's been on my needles mm-hmm. for a while, and um, it's called Missoni Accomplished. You even said it right that yes. time by Melissa Clulo. Clulo. It's fast Trico, one of the girls, and the yarn is it's a free pattern. It's a free pattern, and it, the yarn is uh, by um, Audine Wools, and it's called Sprout. And it was in my knit crate, and yeah. I actually got one more um, uh, skein. skein of yarn so I could finish it. So I haven't even seen you wear this yet. I have worn it a couple of times. It's so comfy. Oh, I love it. It is really nice. It's got that really comfy um, Come my way a little bit. look to it or um, style to it. Mm-hmm. So I had, I've done a little bit of um, decreasing here and I knit this sleeve and decreased more and knit the sleeve really long originally and then it just wasn't wasn't working for me so I pulled it back and I um, took out one more of the four stitches of decrease yeah because you had like long. it was it was yeah. long and it was really snug 
but this is like the twisted rib that she has said and it's really comfy and it and it's I actually took this out again too because I used my tension swatch took it out without um, without uh, washing it not washing it but making it when stretch you frog out. something it's got the kinks <clears throat> yeah. from knitting and you and could you, just knit with it right away and you could see that right the away kinks. and like you could see where I knit and then the kinky part mm -hmm. so I took that out and I just soaked it and let it dry straight yeah and then and what a difference it made and I'm I pleased. really recommend is if you are knitting something and it's just not turning out the way you want it to stop and this change. is a garment you have a choice to take it back take it back fix it I know it's a pain in the ass I know you just want to have it finished but speaking from experience I have a couple of things that I've knit that I don't wear because I don't like the way that they've been finished and I wish I would have just stopped slowed down put it down for a little bit gone back and done it the way I wanted to mm -hmm. the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you won't wear it. You Why is it it's taking a valuable um, yeah. uh, space in your in your closet or mm -hmm. wherever you keep your sweaters? And you want to be using your knits as much as possible. Yeah. And if not, find someone who would really appreciate that's, it. That's Knit worthy option. person. Yeah. Yeah. So I have worn this actually two days in a row and wore it on New Year's Day. Mm. Yeah. New Year's around Day the, house. the day before. <laughs> um, it was just great. Yeah, around the house. I saw on the campfire. Like, what are you wearing to the living room on New Year's? <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going. <laughs> but yeah, I think that that yeah, is it's a really good knit. And um um Melissa has made hers with stripes. Yeah, on the, it. Chevron. And um yeah, chevrons. Zigzag. It's Chevron. Right? It's yeah. the pattern. Yeah. And uh, it looks lovely too. And I've, there's a lot of people who have knit this, mm -hmm. but I recommend this this sweater for um, fit and comfort. It's that really kind nice. of starting to be on my list a bit. Yeah. Twisted rib is takes a little bit longer, but oh my goodness, I should show you the detail of it there. And like the speckle, show nice? a little bit more on your stockingette of the speckle too. Like it was just absolutely beautiful the way it made those teeny little hearts everywhere. And yeah, I think that's just hearts so going awesome. the other way. <laughs> it goes both ways, but it's very comfy. Of it here. Look at how dreamy that is. Look at those perfect stitches. There you go. Yay. Yay. Awesome. And if it's, if your sweater's not perfect and it doesn't, you know, if we got an extra stitch on one sleeve than you have on the other sleeve, who's going to know? Unless you tell them. Yeah. So wear your garments. Use mm -hmm. them. Be proud of them. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of time to do what you do. Okay, so. There we go. Sock talk. <laughs> we know where that comes from, and we love it. <laughs> Way to go, girls and girls. <laughs> if you want a quick sock knit, this is your friend. Uh, Rose City Rollers. I uh, They naturally just have that little bit of a roll from the stocking at Stitch on the top. That's the name of the pattern. Rose Wilson City Rollers Rose. by Mara Catherine Briner. I'm not sure if I pronounced that completely. Um, but this is knit in the scrumptious pearl driftwood colorway. I have small feet. I'm very thankful for that in terms of sock knitting, not in terms <laughs> goes, of shoes. Goes fast. <laughs> Although you get pretty good luck in, in the shoe size. That yeah, you I do have. save like $150 on Blundstones because I've hit the child size. But that's despite <laughs> that's this. big. I mean, so, that's little. <laughs> Um, I have plans for like 18 more of these socks because I, I only wear ankle socks at work just because I get so hot when I'm working. Um, and so I've worn these to work a couple of times. They are absolutely great. I might even go down one more needle size because I just really don't like the feeling of socks in my shoes. What size do you have here? I don't remember. Oh, okay. Usually around two and a half. -ish. Yeah. I think I might go down one more and just do four, a size four. bigger. If you hear music, it's just my husband outside. <laughs> his truck <laughs> on his way yeah to his next job yeah yeah um so yeah rose city rollers absolutely loved it there is a i believe it's a free pattern there is one for adults and there's one for rose city roll rose city rollers minis and i know Kristen, our knitting buddy um she's knitting a pair as well she said right now she's enjoying them so oh Kristen. Kristen from um our our knit 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Kristen. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. And Audrey. Kristen and Audrey. Audrey, Audrey. Audrey yeah. sorry. Yeah, I don't know if they watch, but hi, girls. <laughs> um, yeah, and I washed them and dried them. And they still look great. Yeah, because I figured tighter, this, tighter and smaller is better for my feet because I like that nice fit. But first striped, um, self-striping sock colorway. Mm -hmm. 
And what's the name of that gal that does that? Samantha by from Scrumptious Pearl. Scrumptious Pearl. She's neat. Too. Yeah, she so, has a uh, podcast too, doesn't she? She does. She hasn't really been on it too, much, too much recently, but she just started a new company called Thread and Maple. Oh, okay. That's them. That's them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Samantha, and I can't remember her partner's name, her company partner. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. Anyway, Room City Rollers. Love them. Super awesome. Mm hmm. And I've been down on the sock talk. Mm -hmm. I made these ones, and I do not remember. Um, it was a fade, a yarn fade, from top to bottom. And you can see it's lighter, and it goes to darker. And this is from Sweet Skein of Mine. Thank you, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Little sweet she gift. Popped up that uh, yarn in when I, she sent me my yarn for my uh, rocket tee. So mm -hmm. those are really good. I've been wearing them. These ones, I have knit actually a couple of pair that don't have the extra um, yarn on the bottom. We should talk about that briefly, actually. Yeah, I so, was going to do a tutorial. Sorry, I'm ready to do a tutorial, we but I haven't. Yeah, so we've had lots of um, kind of feedback about Mum's technique in holding an extra strand of yarn in the base of the foot of her yeah, sock. Yeah, I've got a pair on now. That These don't I have don't, it? No, those no. don't have it. I'm um, making some And so we did kind of explain it a little bit on a couple of podcasts, but we are going to do a tutorial for you. You Worn socks, okay? <laughs> get closer. Uh, get closer. So there's extra yarn in the base of the, the sock. Yeah. So, sorry, they're kind of soiled, but they're well-worn, yeah. and I made a pair like this for a friend, and I said, I want to see them getting soiled because then I know you're wearing them and she <laughs> shared a picture I'll show it to you here I'll get a Mioka to put it in mm -hmm. and uh, sitting by the fire with her puppy and her feet sticking out it's a really good picture <laughs> yeah um, Carla, Carla you're watching so yeah. we will show a tutorial on how to just kind of reinforce the bottom of your sock yes from yeah. heel all the way to your um, toes yeah, yellow toe. And it does make your sock a little bit thicker, so you have to keep that in mind when you're making them and where you're going to be wearing your socks. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned so, for that. It's yeah. coming down the line eventually. Mm -hmm. um, and this is, whenever you make socks for yourself, you just kind of have your own pattern that you do, right? You don't really have This a, is a vanilla sock. Vanilla sock. I do cast on 60 stitches and use half for the heel. Heel like, flap and gusset. Yeah, and all the way down and just a, um, yeah, normal toe mm -hmm. cast off. Um, I try, I've been trying to get the top a little bit stretchier, which is, I'm experimenting. Um, I just don't pull them really hard when I put them on my last, my old socks. So I'm working on that. And, um, the other thing is, uh, yeah, I guess that's about all. And you I, like a nice tall, um, arch. leg because I get that cold, cold calves. calves and ankles. So mm -hmm. That's why mine are not short. You're going to take longer. So, If you were to guesstimate how many pairs of socks you've made in your lifetime, where would you be? Over in my 100? lifetime? No, not 100. I would say around 40-ish. How many did you make this year? You get the I two. Have one for grandpa. Three, four, five. Five pairs this year? Five? You made that a pair. Did I? Not this year. Was it? You gave them to Christmas last year. Six. Oh, that was... That's my 19. That's 2019. I would say about five pair, but then they, I see that book, 52 That's, Socks. Yeah, we need to get that. Yeah. But Actually, you should look at my book from my other mother, my mom. other mother, my mother-in-law, <laughs> Jody, uh, For the Love of Socks. For the Love of Socks. It's a book? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And I think it's kind of funny because it's based off of, like, For the Love of Sex. <laughs> and it came from my mother-in-law. Yeah. Good for She's you, awesome. <laughs> But I I have grandchildren that are I've made socks for them when they yeah. were little. I said I'm sorry I can't make you any socks until you grow and stop growing. Then I'll make you socks because That's it seems like I just get them so finished. Quick and so fun. I just get yeah. them finished and they put them away in their drawer and they don't really <laughs> want to share it with their siblings because Grand made them for them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that will happen, kids. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we so then we're gonna show kind of together. Oh, well, Mioka gifted me some yeah. yarn. So the Thank cozy seven. knitter, hello. Hi. I can't remember her name. I just know her as the cozy knitter, and I watched her vlogmas, and she was fantastic. Um, but she's recently subscribed to us, which is really oh, exciting. Wonderful. Yeah, so thank you very much. Love your Advent skein socks. socks. Yay. Look at that. So look at the difference, first of all, in size. <laughs> Let's just kind of like 
Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Different in size. And yeah. And we had a really fun photo shoot on our knitting day. And I probably put it in the beginning, but I'll put them up again here now. It, it looks so like a mirror. It was oh, oh awesome. it was great. It was a really good way to display socks. <laughs> yeah. I have lots left over of um, the yarn. And so I'm going to do a Rose City Roller set. I do too. Well. I yeah. think I might have enough for the top of a sock or the bottom of a sock. Yeah. And my contrasting yarn was from the same gal that has Scrumptious Pearl. Scrumptious yeah. Pearl. Yeah. Yeah. Same and that. yeah, it was a bunch from her. So I got lots of socks that I can, you know, yeah. down the pipe. So, sorry, backtrack. This is the Cozy Knitter 2020 Advent Scheme. So it's something that you pre purchase, pre order in like August of the year. Um, and then she dyes it up. It's all self striping yarn. And it's so pre-wound fun. for you into, no, sorry, it's not pre-wound. It's in two separate skeins so that you can start here and you knit down and you have two socks. So the idea is that you knit a skein, oof, words. A uh, stripe. Thank you. <laughs> a stripe per day. And then at the end, when at the end of the advent, you would have a pair of socks. 24 days, yeah. But depending on how big your socks are. So I was doing two a day. Okay. And then after a while, it's just, I'm just going to knit because I love this changing yeah. of the yarns. And then I want you know, to take a couple, at least a day to do yeah. the heel. And and yeah, and I actually wore mine on Christmas Day. I yes, actually finished mine. It was me so too. fun. And I just did my own kind of two by two rib all the way through the yeah. leg. And then I continued it down to the top of the toe because, I, like I said, I like that tight sock. No. Yeah. Um, and in the beginning, I was just having a blast. I knit my stripe and I was doing two at a time. Thank yes, you for I me your extra needles. Yes, and I was doing two in a time. Mioka was doing hers with double pointed uh, needles, double -pointed needles yeah. but I did mine on a long circular, mm -hmm. which is a first for me. And once you get it set up, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. It you almost have me. to do. Did you do ribbing on the top of yours? Yeah, I did. I've heard it suggested that if you are going to do magic loop two at a time, do your ribbing two separate ribbings and then put it on a needle together because it's just really hard when you don't have very much on your. Um, needle and your cable really I've got a really road. long cable yeah I've got a really long cable yeah. it um, took a bit to figure out but once I got got started so, it was okay yeah I was knitting one stripe a day I was having a great time with it and then I was like oh I want to knit more than one stripe like no one a day you have the whole month yeah I finished this after Christmas Ooh, so nice. I definitely should have knit one stripe more I just should have knit a couple of stripes a day if I felt like it if I had the time because time. yeah that's just the cat playing with his toy um <laughs> I, yeah, by the time I was done, it was kind of like, oh, shoot, like, I, I didn't have them on. Did I have them Christmas Day? I don't think I did. I can't remember. I don't think I did. I think I was knitting them after Christmas. Yeah, but you finished anyway, just after. completely out of my color comfort zone. But it's on yeah, my feet, yeah, so it's, it's okay. okay right? Yeah. <laughs> so this was definitely on my list for Ever. a new tradition if she does them again this year. Yes, and I've also seen on Autumn Acorn, Judy, she does yeah. a... Hi, Judy. She subscribed to us as well. Yes, Yay. so good to see you. She's such a sweetheart. Did you watch her recent podcast? No, I haven't it's yet. It's kind of like a little vlog, and uh, it's just super sweet. She's so cute. I want to do a couple of her patterns, but it's like, get going on the other yeah. ones. <laughs> Anyways, what, what was I going to say? Oh, she's got her magic heel sock, mm. which is really interesting. Yeah. So yeah. she's doing really good with that. Good on you, Judy. Mm -hmm. But um, She I was forgot. actually looking for testers for the DK magic heel. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, um, a winding a ball. She was. She tells how you can wind, self make a, a ball with um, different yarns and self stripe them yourself, oh. so that when it comes off, it's striped. So, oh, cool. yeah. So it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Check her out. My um, autumn acorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a smart girl. Yeah, Judy. Yeah, she's yeah. sweet. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, you go ahead, because I only have a couple more things. Okay, well, I did finish up my hat. Yes. It's called An Evening at Julie's, and I have a friend named Julie, and I do go in there and have evenings there. <laughs> or or um, husbands and uh, ourselves get together, and we go to Julie's. Anyways, the pattern is by Katie Pomper, and the yarn is, a, is stash yarn. And Katie from A Twisted Yarn, Katie? Katie Pomper? I'm not sure if that's her or not. I think that is. Is it? I'll check. You this do, is yeah. her. Anyways, um, and I got a really lovely pom-pom. I was mixed feelings on which one to, to do. So I did this one. But what I have to do with my hat, because it is quite big. <laughs> quite big. <laughs> we 
both tried it on. It's like, holy moly. It is moly. Katie from A Twist of Yarn. Look it is. Her. It is Katie. You. Oh, I it mean. is. So, she's yeah, been doing all kinds of hats. Twist of, Yarn, uh, Twist of Yarn is our local yarn shop in Vernon, yeah. British Columbia. Because um, she just did the Camilla based off of Camilla, who owns the Twist of Yarn. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. But I anyways, just... my plan is to um, felt it in the washing machine and make it a bit smaller. So I have to be really careful when I do that. Without and, your palm. Of course, take the palm yeah. off. Yeah. And shrink it up a bit. It'll be more dense and more warm, but... Then I'll wear it because I haven't been wearing it. It's just way too big. Mm -hmm. Because even going out snowshoeing is so. That's that's no, my it would probably work with my fun bun. Oh yeah, it would work really good. <laughs> 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 and I thought it would be a little yeah, bit. I don't even need the pom pom with the fun bun. <laughs> then they have those ones that have the hole in the back where you can hey. put your hair out the back. Look, there you go. Like I, have a wet, massive wet hair hat. I have a massive noggin. Yeah. 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 Good for you. That looks good on you. Okay. I just feel like when I wear pom-poms, I had a hat, a tube that I wear one. And I just feel like I have something on my head. I'm constantly like, ah, like the, the bird, bird. The bird oh, landed oh. on the inside. I think I have to make it a little bit tighter when oh I do gosh, use it. Hair. But yeah. I really like this. It was really fast. Stash yarn. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Okay, so you got anything else in there, Ben? Um, go ahead, show that. Okay, this is um, some yarn that I had, and I wanted to make face cloths with them. Oh, you can see that I've been. <laughs> 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 I wanted to make face cloths with them, and I tried that, but when they get wet, it's bamboo, um, and what happens is it gets really stiff, so it's not it's very wet. nice when it's wet. It gets Interesting, because really it's so soft when so it's dry. So now it's a dishcloth. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I'm gonna try again with something else to do that. Yeah. So yeah. I bought some more yarn like this to make a bralette and it's soft, really soft when it's dry, but it's not when it's wet. So those are done and in use, as you can tell by the, the mess on there. And then I had this lovely, <laughs> lovely fun making this little Lenny. Lenny the lamb. Lenny the lamb. Lenny means a friend. I need to do Lenny's friend. Well, do you still have the pattern? Um. You'll have to go, and it's by um, Susan B. Anderson, and the yarn is from my stash, but I don't have it. Um, she has a book with lots of these things. I might have the pattern, library, I think. Yeah. but our local library carries some of her books, and so this is from one of her books, and he's really cute. He's fun. He's really fun, and I've him. had fun, and our granddaughter had fun, and he's just his eyes. And Lenny because I had an uncle named Lenny, and he was my favorite uncle. I he was Lenny. so much fun. He was just a blast. He was just a big fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show this really quick. Okay, you yeah, do that. Right. do that. One. I finished my city limits. <laughs> Oh, and it's I haven't awesome. even shared this on either. Yes, there so you go. So this was my December 30th, 2020 cast off. Woo! I finished cast off. My cast off. Bind off. Bind. Yeah, sure. <laughs> cast off. Bind off. I am Look at that. so Look happy how with that is. it. It looks great oh on it. I still be... haven't blocked it because uh, I keep wearing it. <laughs> It's what it's like, like your hippie sweater. <laughs> hippie sweater. Your bulky one. It's yeah, like one of those things you get in the morning. I have like this kind of big, oversized, um, like summer dress, but it's long sleeve, and I wear yeah. that when I get out of bed. Yeah. Actually, I was wearing a mom shut up today, and um, I just put that over top of on this, and it's just oh, it's so cozy. It is. It looks really good on you too. So this is the City Limit sweater by Tannis Fiber Arts or Tannis Lavalie. I've really, really fallen in love with her patterns this year. She's got some really awesome mm -hmm. ones. Really, yeah. And her yarn, it's in my, like, dream yarn. Oh, yeah. She's got some and, pretty nice. And she's all about color and rainbows. And so I need to kind of take a page out of her book, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but um, this is kind of a special sweater for me in terms of yarn because I used a lot of, like, scrap yarn when I was doing it. So this one I started in... There's hair Just everywhere. <laughs> um, in March of the lockdown, I think, March or April, right yeah. when I finished Matt's sweater. And I got to about here. And if you know anything about this sweater, if you've heard anything about it on a podcast, you will know you need a lot more yardage than you think you do. So I got to here because. and I actually had to... Because it's held double. It's Oh, yeah. It's held double. So I actually had to... Um, 
order some more. I actually, I found it on someone's stash on Ravelry. Thank you so much. I can't remember her name who did it, but she shipped it to me from the States and I paid her for it. And then I got to here and then, sorry, here. And then I didn't have enough loft. And so I had to order more loft. And then I used some scrap yarn for the ribbing. So this yarn was my very first wool swap from a lady in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. This is from my mother-in-law for my bridal shower. It was, so this is a <sighs> little Coral M. Stewart. I don't know. It looked like a self or a, um, an indie dyer. Mm -hmm. The ball band. This is Noro Sonata in Ash. Then we get into our, you guys pronounce it wrong, Arcan Arocania Sock in Tuku Tuken. I've actually knit socks out of this. My coffee talk socks are out yes. of this. Yes. Then I went into, um, where are we? Brooklyn Tweed Loft in Flannel. And then Brooklyn Tweed Loft in Snowbound um, just held with the flannel for the end. And yeah, I did. So this is... What does she call it? Gradient or fade? Um, marled. Marled. Okay. Marled. So, so then... yeah, you are constantly holding two strands of fingering double. Mm -hmm. And she does have another, um, I think, DK weight as well. I think she's got one that has a V. That's a different one. Okay. Yeah, this is different. Um, so you hold two strands of this one, drop one, pick up your brown, drop the other one, pick up your other brown, drop one brown, pick up your white, drop your second brown, pick up your second white, Drop one, pick up blue, et cetera, et cetera. And yeah. so you just kind of get this really awesome. And don't forget to save some for the sleeves when you're doing that. Yeah. And so that's where I was kind of running into like, oh, I need more yarn. Like, <laughs> and you get this awesome math equation at the beginning that makes your brain hurt. <laughs> but it's coming to do see it, if I do this one. Do it. And she explains it so well because you figure out how many inches your sweater is going to be, how many stripes average per inch. How many stripes per color? Mm -hmm. How many stripes per um, A A A B A C A D etc. Like that. Okay, that's really. I don't smart. want to say too much because that is a paid for pattern, but yes. um, fantastic! So excited! I have to get some finished object photos of it um, on me. Mm -hmm. um, I realized going through my I tried it on page. too, and yeah, it's yeah, really and it looks nice. So good on mom, and of course, one of the really cool things with her pattern is uh, you can wear it inside out, and then you have this really funky pearl detail down the side and across your right one so mm -hmm. yay so happy for it yay yep. yeah it feels so good to get uh, yes. a big project that yeah. you love so much uh you have one more i have um a, a, i'm just going to tell you about a bunch that mm -hmm. i've done sorry um a bunch of um, other things that i've done and gifted so mm -hmm. as you know as some of you know i've made pumpkins at halloween before halloween I made seven pumpkins and shared them. I have one left. This is my Mioka has mm -hmm. one, but her, her kitty cat likes it. Yeah, one. it's got a little bit of um, felting happening to it because he's got his claws into it. Yeah, so, so I made seven of those. Seven. I made um, three more pair of socks for others. I made two pairs of slippers and one's already worn out. I made one pair of fingerless mitts for, oh, a friend. Mm -hmm. I made a pair of leg warmers for mom that she's enjoying and keeping her her legs and calves warm. That's where I probably get it from. <laughs> and then I made one Christmas ball from Arna and Carlos, and I bought yarn. For Fleece and Harmony. From Fleece and Harmony and the book, so that maybe in 2021 Christmas you will see Christmas balls of all sorts. Mm -hmm. That's my plan mm -hmm. anyways. We'll see how... It comes to fruition. And I didn't even write down all the things that I've made and gifted. There was like <laughs> Babies in the Bunting by Susan B. Anderson. There was Baby Socks. There was... Uh, Vegetables. Uh, I think that was the year before. Oh, okay. I can't remember. Yeah. Anyway, it there, yeah, it, there was a lot that was gifted and given away. I did my best to share it on the podcast or... You can't take that home. I know. I'm putting it over. <laughs> i got to put it back in my fall decorations. Um... Yeah, I just did my best to take pictures of it and document it that way. But sometimes you're just so excited to give it to the person. And, and you forget and to take there. pictures. Yeah. 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 Um, so then one more thing I forgot to oh. write down. But I finished the... I didn't know you finished this. No. This is the... Look at that. I should have written it down. What is this? The Night Shift Shawl by Andrea Mallory. And this is all in Malabrigo Rio. 
those colors. Isn't that amazing? So it has to be blocked because if you hold it tight for a second, look at how much it grows. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. But Isn't that cool? You have to hold it close to really appreciate these beautiful, beautiful, yeah. beautiful colors. Oh, Let's my try it on. goodness. I want to see it on somebody else. I have to block it still, but it looks really pretty. <laughs> It's really big. Well, and like think it's, once it gets it's, blocked um, too. Dense. Yeah, because the way that you do the um, oh, I should have written this down. The way that you do the knitting, I can't think of the style of it right now. Do you remember what it's called? Oh, it's not in my brain. Um, you hold, you knit mosaic. some. Yes, thank you, mosaic. Yeah, okay. You hold some and you slip some and whatever. So it was just absolutely awful. I think you should keep that. No. Yeah, it's no. actually for you. It would be way too warm. No, no it's not for me. <laughs> yeah, it is. Why is it for me? Because I knit it for you. What? <laughs> it was what? supposed to be done for Christmas. I didn't have time. Because oh, look how good it looks on everything. you. Everything. Oh no, you can't do that. I have enough. I've already started a second one for me. <laughs> Girl, you just keep surprising me with all your knitting and everything. <laughs> but look oh. how good it looks on you. Oh. It's beautiful. Unless it? you like the colors of the other one better. Well, you can we can decide once they're done. Oh but my goodness, this will keep me so warm. Who needs? Oh, I just had a thought. I have this long sweater that I purchased, and it goes down to calf length, and it's kind of caramel. Thin, isn't it? Yeah, it's in between. It's this color here. It's yeah. caramel. Oh, that would look. Merry Christmas. Good. And I was thinking it's cold because it doesn't have buttons or anything. <laughs> so you're gonna have to block it. <laughs> I have to block it. Oh, sorry, Sally. Oh, okay, that's so thoughtful. Oh. <laughs> well, because I started it and then, or so I finished it, um, and I was trying to get the second one done so that I could pull it out and do the whole thing. But I just got busy knitting other things, and then um, I was gonna give it to you for Christmas. I thought oh, I'll get it done over the holidays, and I didn't. So then, oh man, yeah, oh. isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous. I've been. Um, yeah, you've been drooling I've over been drooling this since over I started it. Started I know. It. Yes. And it didn't intend to be oh. made for you, but I just kept watching your eyes like every time I pulled it out. Oh. So Merry Christmas. Well, huh? thank Hello. you. Or happy Merry New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just thinking I've never knit you a sweater because I've knit your sisters a sweater each, but I've never knit you a sweater. So yeah. love to see what happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could use my stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stick. <laughs> So I think that's everything I think that we, we have. Got it, got it going on. And so we're not stack even them up. Too much. <laughs> no, yeah. we're not even sharing. What show us on your stack. Day. Stack them up. Show us your stack. Twenty twenty. Uh, knit stack. Tag us. Share us. Use the hashtag. I put it on our Instagram already. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Leslie Friend from a friend to knit with has just tagged us in hers. I'm just gonna check really quick here because that would be super exciting yeah, if she Leslie. did. Yes. She, she did. did. Oh my god. Here's mine, my string of pearls. Look at her. How cute is she? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's tagged a few people as well. So very awesome. Yeah. That's Show us great. your stack. Thank you so much for being here for us and with us and during share, 2020. Share and like mm -hmm. and um, so we can grow. Yep. And uh, yep. we'll continue to share and Thanks for joining us. Can't it was wait. really fun hanging out with yeah, you today. Yeah, can't wait to see what 2021 <laughs> brings us yes. and uh, sharing off all our, maybe there'll be like an annual stack them up roundup, right? <laughs> <laughs> so and, happy um, knitting. And make your plans for um, 2021 mm -hmm. is what you want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you'll be really surprised. I think you'll be surprised at what you can accomplish. Yeah. And, and um, it'll help you set your goals so that you can stay focused yeah. which is easy to get unfocused with all the beautiful yarns and beautiful patterns and yards and there. yards and yards of contentment <laughs> <laughs> happy and new happy year friends and knitting happy new year everyone thanks for joining take us care. take bye -bye. care